Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip of the day. So today I wanted to share with you a Max for Live device that I found called Capture by Plastic Man and Line. And this has been out for a very long time, but I sort of just discovered it and I thought I'd tell you about it. Um, this would be mainly for if you're doing live sets, um, because what it does is it basically is what it says, it captures. And so what it'll do is, is capture any of your settings you have and you make sort of a, a scene out of that. And then you can tweak some knobs and change things around and capture your next scene. And let me show you how this works. So you can put this on any one of your tracks for it to work, but I like to put it on a blank track here to get it out of the way of what I'm doing on my other tracks. And let's play what I have here so far and I'll show you what we're gonna do. It's a very simple thing I have running here. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make an actual clip here and I'm gonna rename it one. And then I'm gonna make another clip and I'm gonna rename that two, and so on. So let's do that here. Let's make some clips and name these because the way it works is it looks for these names and then it'll play um, whatever you have already set up. So let me show you here, okay. All right, so now we have these four clips that are, there's nothing on them, they just have a name. Um, and we're gonna go to capture now. And here, when I select capture, when I hit this button, it'll sort of take a snapshot of your whole project, including all of your instruments and whatever settings you have on there, and all of the, you know, panning left and right and any kind of sends you have. It just captures everything, which is really cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna capture this first uh, settings I have on all these instruments. It doesn't have to be running or anything, so I'm gonna hit capture. And it's just captured, you know, whatever settings I had on my tracks and on these instruments. And here's where you rename this so it looks for your, um, same name over here in the clip. So I just named that one. And now let's uh, mess with my controls a little bit. So now I want the kick drum to come in a little heavier here. And I want this, let's see, I want this instrument to have more frequency on it. Okay, let's just capture that then. So I like this. So I'm going to capture this scene, basically, all the settings, and I'm going to name that too. And then, now that's set. So now let's keep going. So I'm going to go to and do some more modification, basically. So here I'm going to change, give my claps some delay. And let's see, I'll take this one. whatever I want to do. Now that I've got that set, we'll go back to capture and we'll capture that and we'll call it three. You rename it. Okay. All right. So now that we've done three, let's just see what it does. Okay. So if I hit this one again here, it's going to go back to every setting we had um, when I first started playing this because uh, I hit capture. So let's do that. Let's play over here in my scene and here we go and then when I hit two it'll go to the second capture and go to whatever settings we change there now when we go to three we'll see the new settings and here here's where I changed my delays So this can come in really handy if you have these really complex live sets, for instance. And that's why they developed it, um, for sort of the live sets. And if you have a bunch of, 
Do you want to kind of change your song up on the fly? Um, you obviously don't want to be on stage and be trying to do filter changes to your kick drum and those sorts of things. If you do all that ahead of time and you use Capture, um, you can have all those parameter changes already set in these um, clips here for you. And then you can just refer to them um, while you're playing live. Um, and it's pretty cool. And it's called Capture by Plastic Man and Line. You'll find it under Packs. Um, I didn't find it in the regular Max for Live devices. I found it under Packs and then in here uh, in Capture. So if you wanted to play around with that, it's kind of fun. And if you need and you're doing lots of live stuff, this could come in really handy for you. Anyway, that's my quick tip of the day. Um, for you guys out there that are doing uh, live sets, um, use this capture device and it could really help you out um, without having to make all additional tracks that have different settings. Just change the settings and do a little capture of that. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.